Chapter 1, The Perfect Plan. I couldn't believe my luck. I, Queen Chrysalis, had managed to successfully mimic Princess Cadence and fool everyone into thinking I was her. And now, I was about to marry Shining Armor, the captain of the Royal Guard. It was the perfect plan to finally take over Equestria. As I stood in front of the mirror, admiring my reflection in Cadence's beautiful wedding gown, I couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt. After all, Cadence was a beloved princess, and I was about to deceive everyone on the most important day of her life. But I quickly pushed those thoughts aside. This was my chance to finally defeat the ponies and rule over them with an iron hoof. As I made my way to the wedding venue, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement. Everything was going according to plan. The ponies were all gathered, eagerly awaiting the arrival of the bride. And little did they know, the bride was actually me, Queen Chrysalis. As I walked down the aisle, I could see the looks of awe and admiration on the faces of the ponies. They truly believed I was Princess Cadence. And as I stood next to shining armor, ready to exchange vows, I couldn't help but feel a sense of satisfaction. This was it. This was my moment. But just as I was about to say, I do, the real Princess Cadence burst into the room, her eyes wide with shock and anger. My heart sank as I realized my plan was about to unravel before my very eyes. Chapter 2 the real Princess Cadence. As Princess Cadence stood before me, her eyes blazing with fury, I knew I was in trouble. How had she managed to escape my clutches and make it to the wedding venue in time? I had been so careful in my planning, so meticulous in my execution. And yet, here she was, ready to expose me for the fraud that I was. Chrysalis, what do you think you're doing? Cadence demanded, her voice filled with righteous indignation. You can't just waltz in here and pretend to be me on my wedding day. I tried to maintain my composure, to keep up the facade of Princess Cadence, but it was no use. The ponies were starting to murmur amongst themselves, casting suspicious glances in my direction. I knew I had to think fast if I wanted to salvage my plan. Darling, I don't know what you're talking about, I said, trying to sound as innocent as possible. I am Princess Cadence, and I am here to marry Shining Armor. Can't you see how happy we are together? But Cadence was not fooled. She took a step forward, her horn glowing with magical energy. You may have fooled everyone else, Chrysalis, but you can't fool me, she said, her voice cold and determined. I will not let you ruin my wedding day. And with that, she unleashed a powerful spell that revealed my true form to all the ponies in attendance. Gasps of shock and horror filled the room as they realized they had been deceived by the evil Queen Chrysalis. Chapter 3, The Aftermath as my true form was revealed to the ponies, I could see the looks of fear and disgust on their faces. I had been exposed as the villain that I truly was, and there was no going back. Princess Cotton stood before me, her eyes filled with a mixture of anger and pity. Chrysalis, how could you do this? She asked, her voice filled with sadness. You had the chance to turn over a new leaf, to be a better pony. And yet, you chose to deceive and manipulate us all. I hung my head in shame, knowing that I had let my desire for power and control cloud my judgment. I had been so focused on taking over Equestria that I had lost sight of what truly mattered. And now, I had lost everything. As the ponies began to surround me, their expressions ranging from anger to pity, I knew that my time as Queen Chrysalis was over. I had been defeated by the power of love and friendship, the very things I had sought to destroy. And as I was led away to face justice for my crimes, I couldn't help but feel a sense of regret. Regret for the pain and suffering I had caused, regret for the choices I had made. But most of all, regret for the fact that I had let my greed and ambition consume me. And so, as I was taken away from the wedding venue, my reign as Queen Chrysalis came to an end. But perhaps, in time, I could find a way to redeem myself and become a better pony. Only time would tell.